Me too. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 2, King James Version. Fight the good fight of faith. Life hold on internal life. Whereunto the art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Hold up. You are fighting a fight. Are we not fighting a fight today? Oh, but brothers and sisters, we are fighting a spiritual warfare battle. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, do you not see it? Because it is a spirit that we are battling. That good old fight. It is that we are seeing. That is all rising. The arrival of the Antichrist. That good old fight. That you need to stay with. And not give up. Amen. Of all the persecutions that is what coming your way, whatever situation it may be. It could be just because somebody says something it is that you don't like. Or some kind of a word it is that, whoa, hmm, you didn't like. You're fighting that good fight. Did you know that? Evil. That is abound upon this world of lawlessness. Okay? And you're seeing good, which is God's children, first the evil, which is already taking place. So when I say this, um, this good fight today, this is what I'm referring to. One of them. Because see, this good old fight, it is that we are battling of the dark powers. But it is the what? Name of Jesus Christ. Continue to fight them battles. It is that you are a battling. But fight it in the name of Jesus, the word of God Almighty. Because it's already been overcome. In the name of Jesus, we are seeing the battle taking place. Spiritual warfare battle of that uh, what? Of that good fight battle that is a was it? Oh, ooh, hold up, that is here. It is not a was it? It's just a was it more into the darkness until it puts you in a corner. And then are you just going to give up? Or are you going to continue to fight that good old fight? It is that you need a fight. Do you have that faith in the name of Jesus? Do you have the word of God established right here? Because you're going to need the word of God right here established on the inside of you, brothers and sisters. Because that good old fight, it is happening at this day. There's no more turning back. There's no more going back. Either you serve God or you serve Satan. You've got a choice and you've got a battle. It is that you are fighting today. This is the battle of spiritual warfare that is a taking place. Take heed, brothers and sisters, and know who is in control which is God Almighty. He is in control of all things. Praise God. So the battle, it is that you are a Simpson, that you are going through, that you are struggling through, that uh, Satan is just attempting you, that he is coming in with, you know, a financial battle, a family crisis of a battle, uh, of a mind control fight battle of a oh well i'm just gonna attack your help the way it is that i can oh the word of god is powerful amen the word of god is powerful in the name of jesus is power use your authority in the name of jesus i'm telling you use your authority upright in the name of jesus on a daily basis 
don't give up that fight that is in you. That good old fight it is that you are fighting. Once you overcome that, be a witness to somebody today in the name of Jesus. Tell them how you went from this to this battle and how you overcame it. That you fought that good old fight. Let's just say you was on your deathbed. Let's go there. The Satan was trying to take you down. What do you mean take me down? Well, how do you think you got sick? God don't want you sick. Satan is going to intervene. God's going to let it happen if you, if, you, you know, if you get out of control, you get out of line with him. So what's going to happen is Satan is just going to mess with your health. He's going to try to intervene the best it is that it can. And when he does, and you get so sick, and then you're fighting this, uh, this uh, good up fight. And you're like, the word of God, believing in Jesus Christ as your healer. Believing that by his stripes you were healed. And you continue to believe in that. And then you just, you believed in so much within your faith it is that you have that that jesus is able that by his stripes you were healed that you have been healed and you've received it and you're fully healed and, and you see it there's no evidence of you know you were sick it, it's all gone you testified that to somebody um, let's just say somebody's attacking you some kind of persecution you're fighting that battle of a persecution that someone said oh you can't be a preacher well I can be a preacher God anointed me to be a preacher and guess what I'm a preaching all of my days and I don't care what it is that you say to me because I'm gonna preach the gospel of Jesus because I'm fighting that good fight and I'm gonna continue to fight that good fight so bring it at me all you won't because it doesn't bother me because I know that the Lord is in me that is how you've got to start fighting that good fight with the words of God and continue to believe in the name of Jesus continue to believe God is our Heavenly Father opposed because he is don't let nobody tell you any different don't let anybody ever tell you that uh, you know that, that, that there is no Jesus there is a Jesus I'll tell you right now his name is Jesus Christ the Lord of Lords the King of Kings the Messiah the only begotten Son of God oh, he is my Savior and I will forever Worship Jesus Christ.